Dickens and the Bears set down the Sooner side in the top half of the first inning. One, two, and three. It was a high fly ball. Langoliers deep center field. And this ball drifts out of the park. A two-run home run for Shane Langoliers. Mylon Walla got back there. And that ball just continued to carry. He goes down on strikes. And Dickens is fired up. This ball is hit well and deep to right field and gone. The leadoff walk to Langoliers, and Thomas follows that up by launching a home run over the bullpen in right field, and Baylor leads it 4 to nothing. Well, this ball was hit a long ways. It's hit between the 377 365 sign, and you've got about another 40 or 50 feet. And this is off to the left side. That's Zaragoza deep in the hole at short. Just not enough on him to catch the speedy runner. Down, he's going to get a base hit with two away. Swung on and missed, and Dickens has been dynamite. We begin things in the bottom half of the seventh inning, and that ball just left the yard. Off the bat of Cole Herring, and we've seen some shots that have had some power behind it. That would probably go down in the wind-dated category. It just continued to fly and fly until it was gone, and Baylor has reclaimed a seven-run advantage. And he got Zaragoza on strikes. Blew that past him. Ball driven to straightaway center field off the bat of Riley Ware. It's caught by Cunningham. That retires the side and ends the game. 